Hey y'all, welcome to my booktube channel, Lock Booktition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today we're going to do a very, I guess I would say, unconventional YouTube video. <laughs> so as you can see, I got books on the floor and everywhere. This is what I'm mailing out today. Just wanted to make sure the book fit. Um, check out my Etsy if you haven't already for some book sleeves. So I want to try to read from what I have, right? Try to read some of my unread books. So on this shelf is typically where I hold all of my Rick Riordan books, but I decided not to just keep the Rick Riordan books here. I do have some stuff on it that like shouldn't be on here. For example, this, but you know, here we are just making choices. But I want to focus on just trying to read what I have. So if we look at this shelf, I've read all of these books and this book and this book. I have not finished this book. Um, and I have this book for a black classic book pick. And then I've read Moles of Men. I've read... Um, dust tracks on a road i've read their eyes are watching god that's about it that i've read from this collection and shout out to evie for buying this for me i also want to say that if you're looking to get into zora neale hurston i would and you want to read via audiobooks chirpbooks.com typically have Zora Neale Hurston books on sale throughout the year for like 2 dollars or something like that cheaper so again, so I am already reading these for a challenge with me and a couple friends and we've been reading it for some time now. So I won't include this in like the books that I'm trying to get rid of or read on my shelf. What I will include is this book. So I will turn it around. I'm seeing a bunch of booktubers doing that. So I will turn this back around once I have read this book. Now, moving to this shelf. This shelf is a little bit difficult, and I know you can't really see. I just have um, something. This is from one of my little sister's um, thing that she did, one of her exhibitions. So I'll put that down, move some things around. Ooh. Not a dusty situation. But shout out to my friend Claire for getting me this. The spooky vibes. I truly appreciate it. From Native Lady Book Warrior gave me the sticker. And I just don't want to put it anywhere. So I just have it on my bookshelf. Now we're going to get into this row. This is a book I do want to read. It's Queens of Thieves. This was my January pick for the book of the month. So I'm going to turn this one around. And this that you see right here is a an illustration that one of my friends Liz gave to me a couple years ago so I uh, appreciate that so I keep that on my shelf now moving this is my library stamp <laughs> so these are all the books that I have not read I've been reading the Nancy Drew it's another series I'm blinking on the name but there is another series and I'm trying to collect all of these and these are the ones that I have I have one through you can't see it but it's one through something It's dust on the shelf but I'm not the first one in the world who have dust on the shelf right so that's what that is blood like fate I have read Cleopatra I have read this is one of my um, favorite nonfictions of all time. It's not my favorite. We all know my favorite is Braiding Sweetgrass, but this one is one of my favorites. And I was just so shocked about all the things that I learned about Cleopatra. Now let's move over. I like to keep my, my shelves spooky all year round. That's why I'm like moving stuff around. So I apologize about that. So excuse the dust. We'll do that later. Daughters of Jubilation, I have read and I'm on my second read of it. So I will turn it around though because I do need to finish it. I do need to finish it. Okay. So Walter Mosley, Blue, Blue Betty, I have not read. So let's just put them here. Let's put them in the front so that I can see them. My Heart is a Chainsaw. We all know I read that. I have a whole... um 
like book review on my channel about it. So I have read that. Um, Whispers of the Night, I have not read yet. This is a um, story, Svatinana Ribdu and Brandon Massey. If you're new to this channel, these are two of my favorite black crime fiction writers. Um, Confessions of Franny Langston. This was a pick for the Black Oween in its first year. This was one of the group reads, I believe. And I never got to it, but I need to get to it. So that goes what? Like so like that. This is a anthology of stories that I was gifted a long time ago. And it really broke me. It's letters from your sisters on stepping into your power. Dear black girl. Oh, this was so beautifully done. Um, and I read this already. So I'll put this one here. Beyond the Astrid was a book that one of my previous um, supervisors suggested that I read. And they are uh, Dene and Understanding Native Students in Higher Education, which was very informative for me, to be honest, as I was working with um, a bunch of Native students at that time. So this was very informative and I did read it. And I believe Chloe from Thistle in Verse gifted me this book and I have not read it yet so there we go there I'm very embarrassed about all the Walter Mosley that I haven't read and he's one of my favorite writers so here we go again killing Johnny Fry Johnny gotta get killed y'all. Johnny gotta go through it okay and this is a book I just wanted to have for reference and I got this title from Brit from Brit Writerly Let's see what else we have here. This is just a book to, to help me sleep well, you know, loving that. Loving that for me a lot. And then The Killing Moon, I have read. So what we're going to do is these will all be considered read, even though this one have not been read. But this is what I want to just read for reference. Um, sleep well, I do want to read at some point. On this shelf, the ones we're we're focusing on is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are seven books on the shelf that I want to focus on that I have not read. So I'm going to move these behind here. So just to keep it like that. Um, these books I plan to read once I have all 50. One of them, I believe. Um, don't judge me on waiting that long, but... I'd rather have them all, so I'm just slowly waiting until I can have them all. And as you can see, I'm missing a bunch. Maybe it's maybe it's 57. I don't know. That's 56 right there, so I, I, I don't know how many there are now. Now I'm unsure. So I'm just going to just focus on these two shelves, this shelf that I showed you, and this shelf. So these are books that I've read, so I'm going to figure out a place to put these books but I am going to put this book with this stack right here just so I know that these are stacks of unread books and I think that's just such a good idea to turn them another way and that would just be too much time trying to turn those away so I'm going to try to do these this type of video in a couple series to see where I'm at um, because I feel like I've read a lot of my books, but I also feel like I haven't. And this is, is keeping me accountable. So in the next video, I'm going to focus on this shelf. I, Y'all, I can't even, I already know. I'm already embarrassed. And then I'm going to focus on um, this shelf that you see right here. So until next time, have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. See you later. Bye.